Good morning, good morning, good morning. So this is going to be the official, yes, I know, it's very late, it's very late. I have been completely slacking in the patty pan this year. Seriously slacking. I apologize, I fell off the planet on it, but okay, okay. Today is the official cutting of the patty pan. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, cut. Ta -da, da -da -da. Patty pan, see? That's what it looks like. See it? Yeah. I describe it as a combination of pumpkin and zucchini. Um, it has a, a very, not really hard, but it's got a very tough outside. See? But the inside is very soft. Now you can cook the seeds, you cannot cook the seeds, however, whatever you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, sometimes I save them. It don't matter. It, it's, like a, it's like a zucchini, basically. So then you just cut it up. I've got some carrots over here right now, sauteing in butter. Soften them up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the patty pan and just cut it up into small little pieces, like a zucchini, you would. You know, something. Now, you can eat this raw, too. This, like Just like a zucchini. You know, dip it in ranch dressing, dip it in, I don't know, whatever you like for raw vegetables, like carrots, you know? Hi, Dirt. Yes, I don't want to step on you. I don't want to step on you, yes. Okay, I'll throw that in here. Okay, little pepper. That would be salt. Little pepper. <laughs> All right. And then mix it up in here. And, then, and it cooks just like a zucchini. It'll, it'll get soft. Um, patty pans do not have a lot of flavor. They're kind of bland. So you gotta spice it up a little bit. Add a couple of seasonings to whatever you'd like. Sometimes I put lemon pepper on it. Sometimes I put it with Parmesan. Um, I do have a favorite video of making my patty pans. I'll put it in the uh, comments below if you'd be interested in learning how to make some of this. I mean, it's really super simple, and it's really, it tastes good. I, I eat them all the time. Well, not all the time. You have to do them in the summer because you can't find them around here in the winter. take too long. See, I'm already cutting it with a spatula here. See, they're already soft, so it doesn't take too long. And I don't like them mushy. I mean, that's up to you. So you cook them how you like them. You like them really mushy and, and cooked down, or you like them crisp, you know, a little bit more. I didn't want to cook them too long either because I didn't want my carrots to be icky. Then I'm going to throw some spinach in here. I usually put that in almost, pretty much last too, because I don't like my spinach too, too cooked down either. And then I crack my egg. Just be messy about it. The best thing to do. Messy tastes good. <laughs> I break the yolk and then just let it cook all inside of it. I put a cover on. Where's my cover? Here's 
my cover. See? Turn it down just a little bit. You know, medium low, even maybe even low. Okay, and then I'm gonna go grab some cherry tomatoes from outside. Love my cherry tomatoes now that they're finally coming about. Yay. Don't forget to wash your veggies. Ta -da. Wash your veggies. Especially if you buy them from the grocery store. Ugh, my gosh, that is bleh. I mean, I'm sure you guys all saw when I um, did the broccoli um, video on how much wax this comes up. By the way, it's chemical free. It's a cleaning for your for your veggies, but it doesn't do just veggies. It does a ton of other things. This is my little secret ingredient or weapon, weapon, my secret weapon. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And there you have it, cooking a patty pan in 10 minutes, or, well, not really 10 minutes, but okay, there you go. All right, off to eat breakfast. Have a great day. Bye.